Hello and welcome back to Terraria 1.2. My name's Ruben and right now we're going to head out for yet more grand adventure. Because why the heck not? The reason I actually don't want to spend too much time around the house just yet is because I don't think we can do anything really significant with what we've got at the moment. I mean, we picked a couple more materials up, but not a lot. I've already refined the iron, silver and copper into bars. So I think what we can do right now is pretty much just make copper greaves and that's going to be that. That really is going to be that. And I look terrible. I'm like a clown. <laughs> look at that. I got a iron helmet on, some copper greaves, a brown shirt. <sighs> at least the color of adventure is there. It's plain to see on my character. But now we're going to head back down into the icy depths and we're going to hope that we can find some gems because I've been told that the easiest way by far to make a hook is to use gems so I can't wait that's gonna be a lot of fun the better the gems the longer the range on the hook hmm. do we have everything we need here I think on the way out we're also just gonna get ourselves a little bit of wood come on come on wait I was, was I not ready for that? No, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Demon Eye, chill, buddy. This zombie arm is a good weapon. I gotta say, it's really good. No, 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 no. Am I gonna die already? Stop. No. Ah. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I can't see a thing, and I don't wanna die. Quickly, quickly, put the torch down. Stop. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Man, what a terrible start. I should have, like, warmed up a bit before I head out. I should have done some stretches or something. Jeez Louise. Come up here. Come up here and face your demise. Ooh. A shooting star. I think I'll take that. I already refined the last couple of stars that I picked up. Turned them into mana crystals. So that's great. And now, instead of heading back down here... I think the best idea is to head down that side there and then maybe just adventure a little bit to the left. A little bit to the west while we're down there so we can stay in the snowy zone. Oh, this is really dark. If I'm going to be heading by here at night in the future, then it kind of makes sense to put at least a couple of torches down. Oh, and I need wood. As I was saying, got to pick some wood up here. Hey, 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 chill, chill. Let's get my range whipping out. <laughs> yeah, give it a try. Wow, look at that. True shot lumen. True shot lumen on the job. And you can actually pick all of these up again, which is great. Hey, hey, I can't even see these zombies here. <gasps> no ways. They actually have a piercing attack. A proper piercing attack. Huh. That's good to know. And you know what? I'm actually going to have to knock this tree down. Not the best time to head out. It would have been a lot easier doing this during the day. Come on. Come on, tree. Give me what I need. A little bit of wood. Enough to be able to make a couple of platforms. And I also need enough to be able to make a crafting table if need be. That's a definite must-have down there while adventuring. Hmm. I'm also left wondering... What I'd need to craft a hook if I do find the gems that I need down there. Probably an anvil, seeing that they are gems. And most of the stuff that you make with gems would anyway be made at the anvil. So maybe I should have gotten an anvil. Nah, you know what? I don't really need the hook immediately. Or do I? I'm so indecisive. I don't even... Whatever. You know, maybe while we're down there, we'll find... All the materials we need to make another anvil. Let's just bargain on that. I think we'll bargain on that. And this is it. This is the site of our adventuring expedition. Oh, I like this already. I want a chest. I've been told so many good things about the chests in the snowy zone. That I absolutely can't wait to find one. And it might be a good idea to block the entrance off. Stop these pesky zombies from coming in. 
There really is no stopping them though. If I'd made a little wall or something there, they'd just jump over. And once I get out of range, out of sight here, the chances are... They'll just spawn down here anyway. This is a terrible place to be starting. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little bit to the right here. And then up. We can get our breath. Hmm. And then, we'll just get our bearings. That's probably the best idea. We're gonna head back. And dig down into the chamber that Alter is in. <sighs> Hope there's not something super sinister and scary in there. Or rather, super sinister and dangerous. Scary I can live with. Dangerous, well... Not so much. I'd probably die with dangerous. And is flooding it a bad idea? Probably. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, hey! Slimes! Slimes incoming. Am I going down here fast enough? Probably not. Hold on. Probably not. Get a bit of air. Head back down there. Beautiful. This is working out. As long as I can... Get down there before... No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna have to make a little modification here. Tiny little modification because my breath is running out rather rapidly. There we go. This must be so scary for my character. Just digging away down there. Not even sure whether he's gonna survive or not. I mean, I'm sure he's gonna survive, but my character, no. Okay, let's do this. Perfect. Wow. So there's no point in having access to one of these just yet. Maybe soon. Hey, 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 ice slime. None of that here. What the heck? This thing doing so much damage to me. So at some point in the future, it'll be good that I know that that's there. But right now, nah. Right now, all I want is a hook. That's it. I just want a hook. I don't even care what color it is. Any of the gems would be great. Obviously, something like a diamond hook would probably be a whole lot better than the others. Okay. I was about to say, I think I just took a huge risk jumping down there. But it seems fine. Can I knock this? There we go. I want to go over there and check what's in that urn. But it's even worth it. How often do you find really good stuff in urns? I suppose the rope alone would make it worth it for me. Now, do we continue going down this way to the right? Or are we gonna plot a different course? Ugh. I'm just not sure. No, okay, that's that's not worth it. I don't think we're gonna go down there. That's probably where we need to be. So come on. And is it just me, or do you quite often, now with this new patch, have the ability to walk up into an area, but then not walk back down from it? It's because of the change that they made where you could walk up one height blocks. So now because of that, you sometimes get stuck when you're on your way down again. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not really a big hindrance at all. That's just something I realized. Oh, and I have some peppermint tea. Not that you can see me drinking it, but it's here. Know that it's here. And also know that it's going to make my adventuring a whole lot more fun. Hmm. This is the worst part of adventuring. The uncertainty. Not knowing whether you're going to find something amazing or not. You know whether or not that's going to happen? Oh, this is it. This is it. Is that water down there, though? I hope not. No. No, the coast is most definitely clear. Come on. Oh. Where are the chests? What? Oh, my goodness. What happened? I'm poisoned. No, no, I'm drinking health potion. And let's just drink the night owl potion as well. There, that's better. Is there a trap or something? Is that the trap over there? Ow! No, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Bum rushing a trap. Probably the worst idea I've ever had. What the heck? I didn't even know 
that traps were a proper thing. I mean, I know that you as a player could set them up before. But man, you didn't encounter them very often while spelunking. Ice Slime, listen, I can't deal with you right now. I just can't. This is it. I'm gonna dig this way a little bit while I wait for the slime. While I wait for my potion sickness to wear off. Gotta stay busy, you know? I mean, this could potentially house something interesting. This little cavern that I tunneled into. But I think I need more health before I explore it. Here we go. Now. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Wow. Got him right where I want him. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Sick moves, Lumen. The sickest of moves. So I can't put the torches down on these back walls anymore. Oh, and speaking of back walls, I was told that with the latest update to hit Terraria, which was just a day or two ago, they added living wood back walls. So now I could potentially move back to that tree and make a proper tree house with a living wood back wall. Kind of sad that I didn't, you know, have that at my disposal immediately when I started playing. But whatever. I guess I'll survive. And you know, the icy tower idea is, in my honest opinion, just as cool. Now I'm approaching with, you know, with care from the top here. So I can get this trap out of my life. Dart trap. So, is that the pressure plate over there? Is there a pressure plate? Oh my goodness. Is there another one here? I can't believe I only saw that afterward. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Man. But that's it. I can set that up now. To help, like what, fend off the zombies and the demon eyes and the slimes. Around the icy tower that we're going to construct. Because why not? I mean, they're a bit of a menace. But I get the feeling that it needs some other wiring or something to actually set it up properly. I haven't even, not even back when we played Terraria for like a whole long time, 80 episodes or whatever. We didn't spend much time or effort with the wiring and the technical stuff that you can do. Much like the redstone in Minecraft. I just didn't have the patience for it. Huh. I hope I'm doing the right thing here. I think we're gonna go down. You know, the chests are usually a little bit deeper down anyway. So we're gonna dig straight down here and hope for the best. We'll just keep using this Night Owl potion, get a little bit of extra sight, and see whether something pops up on either the left or the right, or below us, I guess. I mean, that could be a thing too. Gotta remember to place the torches. That's gonna have to happen. Oh. I can't believe that all the adventuring I've done thus far has, you know, left me kind of penniless. I don't want to say penniless because I've picked up a couple of pennies, but I haven't really found anything significant or super exciting or anything like that. I suppose the caves themselves are kind of interesting. But that's about it. Now, are we deep enough yet to choose one of the sides? No, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is it. This is looking promising. Now, do I want to set a little location up for a rope? I think so. In case I want to get out again. Probably a good idea to set this up like this. There we go. Beautiful. Slimes can't use it, so I'm happy. Now, which way? This way? I think. I think this is the best idea. I don't know why. Ah, there. See? You see? My spidey sense, my adventurous sense was just tingling when my mouse was on this side of the screen. I knew this was it. Am I not deep enough to start finding things like gems? I suppose they're meant to be at least a little bit rare. 
at least a little bit. They don't have to be super rare. Please, please, don't be too rare. Hmm. Fine. Challenge accepted. We will dig into this little drop here and hope that it leads us somewhere interesting. Is that one little rogue block of iron? Huh? What are you doing down here, iron ore? What are you doing down here? Okay, we're carrying on with this vertical trajectory that we've chosen. It just seems to be the best idea. And, you know, after the time that I've spent down here already, I can tell you right now, I need a better pickaxe. Seriously, this would go much faster if I had something slightly more formidable to chop away with here. Even just slightly. Doesn't have to be a whole lot better. Just a little bit. And here, I am once again going to set a little rope spot up. Because that's how I roll. And that's how I rope. Let's do it. Here we go. Perfect. And now? Something tells me this is the way we need to go. So we're going to keep it up. Let's flatten this out. And head to the left. Is that something down there? There, 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 there. I see it. Okay, maybe a little bit more down. We go a little bit more down, collect this, and then head back up. Copper ore. Seriously? Fine. That does not bode well for the southern route. Is this going to be any better, though? Who even knows? Hmm. I mean, there's a big chunk that needs to be explored here. This map is going to look ridiculously cool once I've explored a lot of it. Are there people out there that make it their mission to, like, remove every single bit of black from their maps? I could just imagine that the map would look magnificent if there wasn't any black on it. Black isn't a nice color. It really isn't. Especially when it's such a deep black. It makes sense as Fog of War or whatever, but man, the map would just look so nice. I want to say that's what I should do, but that would take forever. Hmm. I'm also hoping that I get to stay on this world for an extended period of time, because I know how they are with updates in these games. They never update your old worlds, so... If something changes, if they add something significant, then you generally have to start a brand new world for it to be there or accessible for you. Unless it's something crafted with already there materials. Unless, you know, that's the case. Ooh, 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 here we go, here we go. I think we found something. I think we're onto something. Where are the big caverns that I want to explore? I mean, come on. I keep finding these little, little, what? Why am I struggling so much? Cave systems and, <laughs> I'm sorry, it took me ages to finish that thought. These tiny little cave systems with nothing in them that lead nowhere. Nowhere interesting at least. Come on. This is it. This is the good one. This is the big one that's going to lead me to, well, something really, really valuable. It's going to happen. And I think it's about time to put a torch down. Huh. Now, I can quite easily make this scalable again, but I guess there's no point. Nah. Nah. There's no real reason to try and make a way back out. Because I can, as I did last time, just log out, log back in, then I'm back at the base. Or, I could circle around to that side. And I think that's probably a good idea soon. Like at some point in the not too distant future, I'd want to head at least slightly to the right. Hey, 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 look at that. The slime is ruthless. Come on, come on. Zombie arm. Zombie arm at the ready. If I stand here, there's no way he's going to get me. I got that little bump there. 
<laughs> That's gonna safeguard me. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So is this it? No! You joking. Well, I did bring some wood with, so I can make a couple more torches, but... I don't want to run out, so let's make a workbench quickly. Then we craft the torches. Snowballs. Okay. That's it. Now I chose the one little strip of ice to mine through. Seriously? I can't believe that. Hold on. I'm going to go up a little bit and rather dig through the snow. That's just a whole lot quicker. There we go. Come on. Uppy. Uppy. Nice. And there's more ice. Oh, but there's something up here. This could be it. This could be what I'm looking for. Aha. Let's hope this leads into a much vaster cave system. Because my adventure in... Oh! And it's a dead end. Hasn't it yielded much of anything thus far? A whole lot of ice and snow, which is good, but this is something I could do once I get a better pickaxe. Maybe the snowy area or snowy biome is just slightly more barren when it comes to resources, materials and stuff. If that is the case, then we're going to have to have another adventuring episode after this, and we're going to have to head down somewhere here. Maybe there, actually, where we stopped before. If we find something better down there, or if we have a better chance at finding minerals down there, or other materials that we need, then it just makes much more sense. I thought that, you know, with a slightly higher risk of adventuring down in the icy depths of the snow biome, there'd be slightly greater rewards. But maybe that is just when you get deeper. Huh. That's obviously a possibility. We'll see soon soon enough because we're already pretty deep and I wonder if you can use the map to judge how far it goes so there's the end of that one how deep would this one go before it switches to the next biome huh I'm trying to think I think the underground one is next with the skeletons which could also be useful because I've got the chains on me but if that is in fact next then we should probably go a little bit deeper aha that looks bigger. And you know, if there's nothing in there, then I'm just going to call it quits. Come on. Come on, slime. You better be protecting something super cool. Got my zombie arm out. I am ready. Come on. Come on. Have at thee. <laughs> I got him trapped. Oh, shame. That's a terrible way to go. Being beaten to death by a zombie arm in a snowy little corner. Or, I guess, icy little corner. another dead end. Really? Okay, fine. We're gonna at least go as far as the cave system we were exploring in on the left-hand side over here before we stop. And I'm wasting torches. <laughs> I'm just looking at this now and seeing way too many torches here. And I think I should take some with. There we go. Even back there, look at that. I'm so wasteful with them that over there. Take this one with. Nice. And you know what I realized is that a whole lot of these blocks now stack in way more than just 250. And that's going to make my life so much easier. Especially when it comes to storing things for later use. Because man, that was a problem the game had. All those stacks of 250 that you had to keep. Terrible. Absolutely Terrible. Where do these slimes keep coming from? I wonder if they make their way all the way down through here to me. I mean, I guess it's possible. It is possible, but come on. Isn't that a bit unlikely? Is it not just that when I'm off camera, when they're off camera from me, they have an opportunity to spawn? So like, just over there, they could be spawning. Because look at all of them. Maybe we should toss a couple of grenades down there. Come on, take that. Look at the damage. Oh, oh, oh! What? 
How fortunate. Oh my goodness, I need to use those grenades to light my way more often. Because look at this. Watch. When those little sparks fall down, there's something down there that looks well worth checking out. Well worth checking out. Man, that's so lucky. It's so lucky that I've got such an intense hate for slimes. That hatred just found this cave system for me. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hmm. Now, no, 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 no. I was going to say now. This is a terrible position to be in. Man. Oh, a heart. Yes. Ooh. That is the first significant discovery I make. Look at it. It's actually glowing. And what is that? What take is that over there? I'll take it. Huh? Oh! Topaz. Is that it though? It's kind of weird how it's like just lying there on top of the snow. There isn't like a topaz deposit or anything. It's like an adventurer died down here while he was carrying topaz. And then dropped it. That's what it's like. Go, go. Some more iron. I actually still need a whole lot of all the basics. Sadly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop another grenade in this corner. And just let it light my way. <laughs> what? Suicide slime. Ahoy. He just jumped on in. Now I didn't even look. I wasn't paying attention. Come on. Nothing. Okay, so we're going to want to go this way. And I think the best route to take is just this. Man. This is so much better. I wonder if there's other stuff that works in the same way. That'll allow you to just get a bit more sight. A little bit more vision in and around your location. Shall I head in there? Oh, a chest! A chest! A chest! I see it! I see it! Okay, okay, okay. We're going straight down there. Right the heck now. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what's inside there. There better be something good. Okay. We have been at this for far too long for it not to be good. Here we go. Fill the water up a little bit. You know, I'm going to take this a little slower. In that I'm going to drop a couple of grenades down before I head down there myself. Wow, look at that aim. Not half bad. That's it. Hop. Ooh. Ooh, look at this chest. This is what I'm here for. Let's hope for something good. What is this? What? Huh? Extractinator. Turn silt slush into something more useful. Huh? That is all sorts of strange. But you know what? I like it. I also like the fact that we just found some bombs. Because those are super useful for adventuring as well. <laughs> Take it from me. They can be kind of handy. And they can vastly improve the speed at which you spelunk. Come. Come at me, jellyfish. Again. Shame. He didn't stand a chance. So, you know, we're going to bust these bombs out immediately. Drop them down there. No. I don't want to be destroying stuff. But let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Easy there. I want to go up to the other side first. Is this gold? Did I just blow some gold? I can't believe it. That is all sorts of... Of terrible. It wasn't my intent. It really wasn't. I just forgot in mid-action that throwing two bombs directly after each other is bad. I forgot that. But hey, we got a little bit of gold. So that's something. Huh? No! I don't use the ice torches. Here we go. That's better. Now... I wonder if it's safe. Oh! There's another chest. That was... Oh, that was probably there. Just like staring at me. All this time. And I didn't see it. Man. If I had missed that. 
If I had hit in a different direction, I would not have been happy. There. Some more copper. We need it. This is it. I've found what I came here for. It's like the mother load. And this? More topaz. Okay, I think we need 15 to make a hook. Have I left any gems back behind me? I get the feeling that I may have. And right now it's time to drain this water. I mean, the slimes down there might not like it. But it's happening. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I kind of missed with that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there. But I won't miss with this one. <sighs> While I definitely hit. That happened. And this is a whole lot of water. So we're going to dig to the side here. Make ourselves a little cubby. And then dig down. Well, then seal it off. And then dig down. So that we can hopefully survive down here. Is this how it's done? I can't remember. I think so. Here we go. That's it. Now if I make a bit more room in here, the water will disappear. And I can head down to get that second chest. I want a weapon or something. Something that'll help me out kind of more directly with the adventuring. I have no doubt that this extractinator is going to be amazing. But I have no use for it just yet. Not just yet. Ooh, this is a lot of gold. Okay. Slimes, you better say your prayers. Because you are not long for this world. <laughs> I'm heading down there now to claim my prize. But maybe I should hit up first. Do you see what's going on over here? Hop. Nothing. Fine, I'm going to put a torch here anyway just to show myself that I've been here. Hop. Let's get the gold. Am I ready to fall down? I guess so. Wait. Let's toss a grenade or so. No, wait. Maybe the grenade destroys the chest that I so badly want. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is not working. No, no, no! Zombie on. Zombie on. Get out here. Here we go. Perfect. I need to one hit. Turned out better than I wanted it to. I wasn't planning on that. Where is that slime even coming from? Rope quail. Make yourself useful. Hup. Zombie army is your turn to make yourself useful. And now, I want a weapon of great power to be in here. What? No! Not another one of these. Fine, you know what? They're probably super rare and I'm getting super lucky right now. So I shouldn't complain. I should not complain. Ooh, look at this. Is that iron? I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And that down there? What is this? Huh. I'm also trying to decide whether or not I need to go into this water here. Wait, the first thing we're going to do is head back up there and get that. The gold ore. Then we get the iron. And then we'll see. Then we'll decide what's next. Come on, iron. Ooh, this is a rather large deposit. I like it. I might actually have enough to get some more armor. I just need the chest piece. Then I've at least got a full set of something. I could have made wood armor, but there's just no point. I'm going to out-level or out-progress the wood armor way too quickly to even bother making it. This is it. Head further to the left, because that seems to be the lucky direction. At the moment, at least. Lumen is bad at torches. Huh. What is this? Slush block. Okay. That is also new. But how does it come about? How is slush formed? That's what I'd like to know right now. And is that a goldfish? Oh, I'm sorry. Goldfish, I apologize. That was, well, that kind of was my intent. <laughs> no, no. Easy slime. Easy. Easy. 
This is more like it. Now, this is the kind of adventuring I wanted to do. I like it when I'm actually given options. Here we go. Even more. Iron. Is it worth it going down there? It probably is. You know, I said it myself. I need all the basics right now. So we're going to dig down. And make sure we can get out. Hup. To get whatever that is. Is that copper? My sense of color is just so bad that it's almost impossible for me to distinguish between them until I get really close. Oh, it's gold. Oh, that's much better than copper. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what the first thing is I should make with gold. I mean, I guess the best bet is probably just something like a pickaxe. But I'm not sure. Because who even knows when I'll start finding the slightly better materials. It could be soon. I don't know, I just like shooting for the stars when it comes to pickaxes. I know that sounds silly, but I don't want to make a gold one if I could potentially find a much better one or materials for a much better one soon. I don't know, maybe gold will do. I can't remember what the progression is. So, what is this? Ice block. Okay, fine. So maybe gold is the best idea for now. We'll just stick with it. Huh. Not falling for your tricks. Probably a terrible idea jumping down here. So I'm not going to. It does, however, seem to be something on this side. So we're going to check this out. And then, I think we're going to head back up. Because we've already covered a decent amount of ground here found a good amount of goodies. Although we haven't found weapons or anything as mm, fun as that. We found two extractinators. Now, is this safe? I guess. You know what? I guess so. Some silver over there. Oh, wow. Look at that jump. That was mighty impressive. I'll take a lot of this. And I guess I got kind of lucky with these. Can I, can I please use them? Here we go. Much better. Now, there's a certain point that you need to stop with the health. I can't remember what exactly it was. I think it was 200, where if you get over 200, then the invasion start coming and stuff like that. So it makes the most sense to keep yourself below that amount. I don't know if Terrera works like that anymore. Maybe, you know, they take different things into account now. But I think that's how it used to work. Like, when you get above that certain amount, then meteors start falling, invasions start coming, and all that other terrible stuff. Blood moons start happening. Stuff that you don't really want to happen. Especially not when you're trying to build an icy tower of doom. Ah, huh. potions. Okay, I'll take them. Oh, wow, even more to explore. I like it. I think I'll keep going. I just want to know how far I am. So if I go directly up, I'll get myself into these tunnels here. Man, then we should probably head into this part. Because it would be a shame to just leave it, you know, shrouded in secrecy. It would be. Especially if it's so close to home. I'm not saying I want to explore every corner of the map. But that is a corner that I'd like to explore. That one right there. Oh. Is there going to be something good here? I hope so. No. No, there's nothing. Come on. Let me up. And let me have a sip of tea. This is crazy. Now, I did get lucky. But it's crazy how... This is gonna work out. Can I actually link myself up there? Come on. I think I should try. And you know what? I'm guessing that right where I left off, there's probably 
something amazing. I probably stopped right before I found a chest. Because that's just how bad my luck is sometimes. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going up. This is way too good to pass up on. Really? I am actually really bad at placing torches. Incredibly bad. Is that gold? If so... My pickaxe would like to have some words with it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I must have a lot ready. Hold on. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to check it out. See how much I've got. Oh my goodness. It just keeps getting better. I keep finding more of these caverns to drop down into. Sure, they don't all house amazingly cool treasure or anything like that, but wow. Huh. Do we keep going? I think so. How much gold do we have? 35. That's okay. I'm more excited about the 58 iron, honestly. I'm probably gonna have to or be able to do a whole lot more interesting stuff with that. And you know, I probably would also have a whole lot better luck going to look for a hook from the skeletons instead of trying to find these rare gems because I'm so bad at spotting stuff like that that it's probably going to take me ages like seriously ages to collect enough here we go there's something here and I don't mind if I do is this more slush? how is the slush formed? is that like water and sand? Or wasn't that always the silt? Hmm. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. But I see if the slush behaves in the same way as sand. So I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe slush is water and snow. That doesn't make sense. It can't be water and snow. Because there's a lot of, you know, water in contact with snow right here. You don't see slush surrounding it. Now I'm going to empty this out. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to break that seal. Head on in there. Hop. Perfect. Ooh. Even more. This is... Perfect opportunity to use my rope coil. Wow. More gold. I'm getting kind of lucky right now. I should just put that out there. I'm going to toss the torch over here. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Easy there. I don't use the ice torches. Is that really it? Three left? Or maybe that's a sign. When those three run out, I'm done. Should make this a bit easier for myself. Here we go. Much better. Perfect. Got a little cubby to stand in. I like it. And I've already hid in the complete opposite direction that I wanted to go in. But it's fine. The results that it's yielded have been worth it. Oh, 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 there's something. No chest, but there is at least some iron over there. So we're going to get that. And I think that's going to be it. I do literally have like two torches left. So I can't push this too far. And I think I might need the ice torches for when we start building the icy tower. Huh. I'll take it. As soon as I can get to it. Huh. Easy there, slush block. So violent. Don't know if I like it. Man. What? What is going on here? Wait, 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 wait. How does this work? I thought that that was it. Like, that was the level that this starts at. But here is a different back wall. And it seems like I can actually place a torch on it. That is... Mighty peculiar. So the world generation is a whole lot more random now. Or maybe more varied. Maybe random isn't the right word. Maybe there is just more variation. I'm definitely not going to complain about that. I mean, that's amazing. And that right there is something I want. Thank you. Ooh, this is the biggest iron deposit yet. 
And now... I'm gonna have to do this. Seriously? Toss the glow stick. And let that be that. There had to be... Like, way too much iron here. Way too much silver and way too much everything else. Just when I'm deciding to call it quits. I don't see anything down there, so we're gonna avoid that. For now. As to not get too distracted. But we need to get the iron. It's gonna be useful. It's gonna be invaluable. Hmm. We're gonna build ourselves a little stairway up here quickly. And collect the rest. That's it. El perfecto. Come on, let me up. And now things are getting a little dark, so I'm gonna actually put an ice torch down. But I'll have to take it back. Ain't no chance I'm leaving that down here. Wow. Okay. So this was definitely worth it. And I think that's it. That is sadly gonna be it for this episode and this adventuring run. I don't have the hearthstone right now, the teleportation stone or whatever it is, so I can't return to my spawn with that. And that said, the best way of getting back up there is just to log out. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe next time we'll head down here, or as I said, down into the regular zone. But again, check back soon for most importantly though. Happy finding a whole lot of iron, gold, silver, and copper. And two extractinators. Happy that.